is up everyone, my name is Shane Rice and today I'm going to go through a full day of eating and a full day of lifting. Um, a lot of people have been writing to me on the Facebook page and Snapchat and the feedback's been fantastic so I want to do this for you. So if you enjoyed today's video hit the like button and hit subscribe. So here we go. First of all I have every morning is two sachets of oats okay. Um, these oats are from Odalicious. Basically what I do, I'm going to show you is how to make protein oats. So, first of all I get the first sachet, just happy it in. I also use Wayne's hands as well, it's easier. Second packet, there, I've got some uh, my protein impact with isolate, just use one scoop of that. There you go, chuck it all in. What I have here is, I um, don't know if you can see that, crunchy peanut butter. Um, hey, I got that in Lidl. Just pick it up for a couple of quid. I'm going to use 20 grams of this, okay? About that much. Yeah? Yeah. Scoop that in. Yeah, so we have 18 grams, going to give a little bit more. Perfect. Going to leave that there, okay. Next up is the boiling water. We have a kettle here, boiled. Just going to mix that in. The more water you have, the runnier it's going to be. And the less water you have, the thicker it's going to be. Okay, so I'm just going to show this here. I'm going to mix it up. And there you go. That's basically what I have every morning. And um, I like to keep most of my carbs for the evening time because I usually get um, a lot of cravings in the even time, so I like to keep them, keep the carbs available. Um, I'm gonna get this into me. I also have some, some sliced apple. You can see there, just a second bowl. I'm gonna munch in this. I'm gonna have this. This is my first meal of the day. I'm gonna put some tiny bit of squeezed honey, just maybe 10 mils. Just there. Okay. So I've got my scoop of protein, I've got a little bit of carbs, I've got my fats from my peanut butter and I've got my fruit from my micronutrients, okay? So I'm going to nibble on this and I'll get back to you. I also forgot to show you is my uh, supplement stack, we've got some multivitamins and iron, we've got some vitamin C, we've got some fish oil and lastly vitamin D3. Use the vitamin D3 for, for uh, where I live in Ireland so we don't get that much sunlight. Fish oil is very good for your brain and concentration. We have some uh, vitamin C for keeping, keeping away from them sniffy noses, them colds, and uh, basically just multivitamins, all in vitamins included.
Okay, so I just finished off in the gym. Um, I done my today was shoulders and arms day, so I done three shoulder exercises. I done three bicep exercises along with two tricep movements. Uh, first of all, in the video, you can see I done an overhead press working the shoulders, and um, I think this is probably the best exercise you can do for your delts and your shoulders. I really think I went heavy on this. I done five sets of five. Uh, struggled in the last one or two sets and the last one or two reps, but uh, felt okay, felt good, and then moved on to uh, onto the biceps. Um, done uh, first of all a pulling action in the bicep. I done my uh, four sets of eight and try to keep the form as strict as possible. Write down in the comment below if you think my form wasn't good enough. Um, after that I went on to do some tricep extensions I believe. Um, try to go heavy in this but try to keep the elbows tight to the body and uh, try to keep your head in a neutral position looking forward and just driving back the arms you can feel the pump just in the, the back of the arm there. And then we've done some uh, bicep uh, dumbbell curls using the supinated grip. Uh, the supinated grip is something that I'd always uh, recommend using because you get different uh, you hit the bicep at different sides when you use the supinated, supinated grip. So I went for uh, three sets of eight, I think, on that one. Eight in each arm, so 16 in total. Um, yeah, I felt good in it. And then I also went on, I didn't show you this in the video, I also went and done some uh, front plate raises and some variations of tricep extensions. I used dumbbells as well behind the head sitting down. Um, I also done some lateral raises using dumbbells, but all my uh, all my workouts are on uh, on my Instagram page and on my Facebook page, Rice Lifestyle. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get back to the house. I'm gonna hit up a post workout meal, and yeah, meat is there. Okay, for dinner, I've got one sweet potato. I've got 50 grams of uh, brown rice in there somewhere. I've got one or two, three, four broccolis and a half of spinach. I've also got some um, some chicken boiling up in a bag. That'll be done in probably about 15 minutes. So uh, I'm gonna cook this up. I'm gonna show you what it looks after, all right? Got some sweet potato, some chopped garlic. Get some. Paprika Look at that, where are you going to find a better post-workout meal? We have some brown rice, we have spinach, we have two chicken fillets, some sweet potato action going on there with some uh, broccoli. I also have my Coke Zero on point. There's 90 grams of uh, protein in this with 60 grams of carbohydrate with 10 grams of fat. I like to keep my fat nice and low after the gym. I like to take all my fats in the morning or maybe before I go to bed. So I'm going to sit down, devour this, and I've also got some of Rob Lipset on. So, all good. Ah! Hello. My last meal of the day is going to be some Greek yogurt, some onkin, on, onkin, you can see there. It's going to be 200 grams of this. I'm going to throw in some isolate my protein, isolate whey protein, Rocky Road flavor. And I'm going to just show some of these uh, Brazilian nuts in the top of it, okay? So, oh, put that in the bowl.
There you go, that's my third meal. I'm just going to show the, some nuts in. There, about four or five nuts. Okay, six. Okay, so that's going to be my third meal. I'm going to put the macros on the screen here now. Probably going to eat some, maybe. Don't know, eat something more later on before I go to work or after work, maybe. But yeah, so that's my third meal today. It's been five hours since I was on the gym. So, there you go. Okay, so, so far today I've hit 1,600 calories. You see my maintenance is just a couple, couple of hundred over 2,000. We have uh, a breakfast, dinner, and a Greek yogurt we just had. I'm going to show you my macros today. You see there I've hit 160 in protein. I've hit my carbs, I've been low, 160, and my fats, 33. I'll probably have some peanut butter and crackers later on. Um, as long as my protein's good and high, because I was in the gym today, I, you don't want to be slacking behind your protein. And my carbohydrates is low today because yesterday I was kind of high up in carbs, so today I decided to do a low, a low day in carbohydrates. So, yeah, that's where I'm currently at at the minute. So let's kick on. This kind of base will fuck your head up. What is up everyone? Um, for the last few minutes of this vlog, I really want to talk about why I'm making these videos and why I've started all this in the last six to seven weeks. Um, basically I'm going to start off by saying whenever I was younger, I used to love going to the gym. I used to go to the gym nearly every day after school, but the only problem was I didn't really have a clue what I was doing. Um, I used to go to the gym and I used to just sit up and sit in the bench press and really didn't really know what I was doing. I just kept doing reps and stuff and I used to sit up all night on YouTube and shredit.com and bodybuilding.com and stuff and look for workouts. but. It was really hard to find back then, maybe I was looking in the wrong place, but there's a lot of young children, long, young kids between 16 and 20 nowadays looking into fitness and YouTube has been a great help, not only to myself, but other, other people as well. So, as young people who follow me on Snapchat, Facebook, I just want to give them as much information as possible because when I was their age I had no, nothing to look for look for. So when I was younger I was always struggling with my weight and um, I'm also going to do a transformation picture um, in the next couple of weeks but I, had, I didn't have a clue about nutrition I had no idea where to start I just knew that oh carbs are bad and um, you shouldn't be eating bread and stuff but really it's all about flexible dieting but we'll get into that in a different video um, the support I've had over the last six weeks from people, family, friends, people from Monaghan, which is surprisingly enough, people from all over Ireland that have added me on Snapchat, and like the page on Facebook, has been absolutely fantastic. And I just want to start off these YouTube videos. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have enjoyed today's video, then hit the like button, hit subscribe, share it on your Facebook page, whatever you can. And over the next few weeks, I've got massive plans that I want to do YouTube videos. I want to work with GA stars. I want to make it as GA related as I can because I know a lot of young people are involved with GA. Um, you know, I, I'm doing this in my spare time. I'm not doing this involved with uh, college. I'm not doing it in my full time job or my part time job. Um, I work at the weekends. This is something I love doing, it's my passion and I really, really hope I can keep doing it. I um, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been watching, everyone that's been taking it all in. And if there's any comments, write in the description below. I'll uh, post on my Instagram page and everything in the description box below. So I just want to finish off this, blog, this vlog by um, just saying thank you for everyone. I'll keep up the good work and... Thanks for all the messages and thank you.